And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For some Demir control, we're going to be playing this over in Ranked. Um, this is kind of a, kind of like a different take on the Demir Kraken deck. I was playing some Demir Kraken earlier and uh, just off stream and kind of practicing with that deck. And the the Kraken... Like there's times that it's that's pretty good, but then other times like where against like control mirrors where Kraken's just kind of turning on their removal spells, you know, like giving. Um, I'm talking about uh, Nadir Kraken, of course. You know, turning on Oath of Kaya and Mortify and you know all that kind of stuff. Um, where um, I kind of wanted to try playing a Demir Control, kind of without the Kraken and. Um, and seeing just, you know, like if, if Gadwick and Ashiok are really enough win conditions, you know, you have the good discard, you have some good um, card selection with Omen of the Sea, Gadwick being obviously really good uh, card draw. And basically seeing can, can Demir um, hang with Esper with having a little bit better mana base and, like I said, playing Gadwick, where Esper's not really playing Gadwick, and if, if it can... Um, you know, if we, if we can handle that matchup, because I think, I think Demir, I think we do have a pretty good mono red matchup with Demir control. <clears throat> Again, you're not really taking damage too much from your lands. You got a lot of, a lot of basics and stuff like that. So you got a lot of untapped lands. Um, you have good cheap removal with Tyrant Scorn, uh, some good sweepers for mono red with Cry of the Canarium, Ritual of Soot. Um, you know, Legion's End. I think you have, like, a pretty good game against Mono Red. But, um, yeah, trying to win, like, the Control Mirrors uh, is something that I was kind of struggling a little bit. Hey hey there, Naismith, with uh, the Kraken version of Demir. Um, and so, oops, looks like I closed out there. And so I want to try this uh, with no Krakens with playing, like, Narsets. Uh, instead so let's let's give this a try so let's go ahead and play over in ranked because like i said i think i think there's a lot of good stuff with demir and so it's a deck i want to try out hey turn up i'm doing good thank you Besides this, um, we have one donation deck with Ban Arcbow today. We're going to play the mono blue uh, budget. The budget mono blue deck that we played it was felt really strong. And so I'm going to try so uh, in best of one. I mean, we're going to try it in best of three today, giving it a sideboard and try it over in best of three. And then some more team or ramp. We had a. Um, one of the tier three subs picked out that deck. Low Strider and Priest. Let's get rid of Low Strider. Oh, maybe I should have just gotten rid of Priest, actually. That's right, because then Low Strider, the whole escape thing. I kind of I forgot about that right whenever I chose it. Maybe I should have just taken Priest and then Remorse, take Low Strider. I didn't take Priest because I was thinking we'd just be able to Tyrant score in it. So another Cauldron Familiar. Alright, I'll just exile the Ghost Rider. Um, Trawler, I mean, we just... Our deck, with all the discard that we have, you know, we're hoping to get to Trawler, or we're really playing, like, we're, both players aren't going to have, like, that many cards in hand, so, like, if they do play Trawler, and hopefully use removal on it by then.
wrong one. Stream Decker doesn't work for you? Is that... Like, what do you mean the Stream Decker doesn't work for you? Like, that link? You can't click that link? Um, no, I I don't think... I mean... Trawler's Hexproof costing one mana in addition to the discard definitely would have made it worse. I'm not sure if it's... It may not even be playable at that point, honestly. Like that's that's a big that's a big deal. I don't want to say that that definitely should have been like that or anything like that. <clears throat> uh, yes, it is necrolepsy. Yeah, or new overlay that is cardboard live. I think they scry to the top, so I kind of felt like they may maybe had something like that. I really want to find Cry the Canaria myself. Um. Yeah, I keep that. Yeah, we could have a Farika's Libation in the sideboard, but... Uh, I'm not that worried about Dream Trawler, honestly. I have an Unmoored Ego in my sideboard, where that's, that's my plan against against it in the side is to just um, try to unmoor ego with Dream Trawler. Yes, I understand that Farika's Libation gets enchantments too. Um, ouch. Just trying to stabilize. This is where, you know, having something like, N N like this is where Nadir Kraken would have really helped. Um, it's a pretty fast clock. Like once you get, once you get it going, you can end games a lot faster. So to really have this more focused on beating control with the rise of control, but. Well, that was a fast keep on top, but I'm just going to exile it since they attacked in. It was Castle Lock Twain. Lock, Lock Twain.
prowess. This whole staying alive thing's not easy. I can't even do that. Yeah, I guess if I if I just remorse, I actually die. Hmm. I shouldn't I shouldn't have done that with the Ashiok. That'll do. Obviously, I need the Legion's End. It's just, do I want E2 Extinction also? I need to gain life. Not really sure how I'm getting life. I guess I, I don't have anything to gain life is the answer. Darn. So my plan was to upkeep Tyrant Scorn, the Midnight Reaper, because then they wouldn't draw a card because of Narset. I can still just do that here. Hey, Rex. Uh, no, Caleb, I don't. Lifelink. I do have life gain in the deck. There we go. No. Uh, got him right to it with exiling the four cards. And their top card was called unfamiliar. Ouch. The only the only card they could draw kill me. Ouch. We tried so hard. We did so well. No, you can't exile the cat in response. They would just eat it with the witch's oven and bring it back and I lose. They get to respond to my eat to extinction by using their witch's oven to sacrifice it. So I need less discard in this matchup. 
I want to keep remorse. I think I want to to need to get rid of thought erasures. Um, I wonder if I on more ego either oven or like oven and culture familiar seem like the only cards that are going to kill me, right? So maybe I want ego for for one of the two. Hey, Nimbus Maze, yeah. Oh, that was a bummer, but... Oh, well, it happens. Uh-oh. So they get two cards. No, if if Cauldron Familiar is in the graveyard then and three mana Ashiok exiles it, then no, they do not get to replay it. Um, I don't know, maybe I should just keep that, because that's probably a land drop, and then I play that and a two drop. Which would be Scorn. No. I'm like putting that to the bottom. Oh, are you talking about with the five mana Ashiok? Then yeah, you can cast you can cast whatever is in their exile pile with the five mana Ashiok ability. Why did it take them so long to do the very obvious play? <clears throat> All right, so need to top deck Legion's End now. Exile the Cauldron Familiar. Okay, they're just going to let that happen. So 
because they played the Fable Passage, they got to either Exile, which is Oven, or Mayhem Devil, one of the two. Hey, Kalua King. Okay, they're getting rid of the Oven. Your heroics are but a dream. So that means they'll be able to kill Ashiok. But I'm very happy that there's no Oven left. We got the Gutter Bones Exiled, we got the Witch's Oven out of here. I'm very happy about that. So I like where we're at. You know, obviously pending whatever they draw. Which better not be more ovens. Alright, scry to the bottom. Gadwick refill. Hope they just don't top deck here. We get to untap with Sabotage. Ouch. So yeah, I'm not holding up Sabotage again, but being at three, having this lifelink creature in play is pretty important. Risk, obviously. Pretty big risk. I died to a removal spell. Okay, not dead. Not dead is good. <laughs> hey, Morgan. Um, Space, I don't know anything about that. I don't know if anybody else in chat can um, comment on Space saying that there may be a problem with the audio. So I'm not sure space looks like everybody else. Only on the right side for you too. My gain, looking at my gain, my gain was lower than what it normally is. I just changed that. Does that have any effect? I don't, I don't know. Does that have any effect? Looks like we got magic in game three. Oh, 
Okay, fixed. Good. Yeah, that's that's something that I just don't check. And you know, just time to time, I don't know, like the yeah, you know, it's just like this little knob on the back here, and that can can move like whenever I move the mic and stuff, and I just don't check that every single stream. So anytime the audio is off, feel free to let me know and have me check that. I don't really have time for the scry land, even though I need a land. Well, now I would have time for the scry land, but of course we wouldn't have hit, wouldn't have hit the agonizing remorse. Yeah, yesterday, Frostitch. Yep, got Cardboard Live yesterday. So hopefully that makes the viewing experience better. So not only did we mold a five, but this is just not even a very good five. Don't don't like it too much. You know, like obviously our, our best cards are Cry the Canarium. Legion's End's very good. Don't have those. Rankle is just awesome. That card's really good. No, I didn't see that, Matthew. Thassa Teamer Elemental with four Wicked Wolf, four Bone Crusher. I did, I did not see that. So Woe Strider is Escape 4 cards. They have six in the graveyard right now. Stop having wrinkle. That card's still awesome. Each player sacrifice. Do it. this murderous rider in play they just discarded claim the firstborn so it's good they don't have another one but they got the double castle lock twain or lock thwain there we go Not not a great hand for me, especially after mulliganing. 
to five. Woe Strider obviously makes it really rough on blocking and everything too because trying to block with a lifelink creature. Whatever we block, they sacrifice. I was hoping I would draw untapped land and then like a tyrant scorn. That was a really rough loss. You know, the game one that we lost, we'd stabilized. They they could only top deck Cauldron Familiar. They had the two in the deck. And they had to top deck at that turn because I was about to gain life. So like that was their only top deck they could have. And they, they top decked it. And then game three, we multi five. We're on the draw in multi five. And our multi five wasn't very good either. It's a really rough loss. Well, here we go. <laughs> I would have loved this hand in our last matchup. We're probably playing against the control deck now. Where these Karate Canariums don't do anything. <laughs> oh, man. It's just going to be one of those days, isn't it? It's just going to be one of those days. At least we are good against Thought Erasure. Grixis. Oh, I meant to fetch first. All right, that's fine. I 
All right, let's get. Let's not forget about the fetches this time. Go ahead and get that in. So if I do so, if we just have like two lands that we scry to the bottom, they stay on the bottom, and we don't reshuffle. I guess it's better to do Omen of the Sea first instead of like keep a card on top with Sinister Sabotage and then um, surveil it over. Those two cards, especially E2 Extinction, isn't bad, but I want to find like a threat. I want to find Gadwick. At least I want to draw Gadwick. There we go. So good thing I really dug. A lot towards Gadwick. And they're shocking me so that now they have the enough cards in the graveyard to be able to play Croxa. I'm discarding the Watery Grave. Then I'm gonna play Fable Passage and shuffle so I can shuffle this E2 Extinction back. And even the Tyrant Scorn, both of them. And look for them again with Omen of the Sea. I guess I can just cast Omen of the Sea on their turn though. Yeah, I should definitely do that. To tap Ol Croxa. Or Or we play Ashiok. That worked out pretty well for us. This game just overall has worked out very well for us. Oh, we have five lands in our graveyard. Tyrant Scorn. I feel like we can do better. No. All right, well. I should have kept, yeah, I should have kept Tyrant Scorn, actually. Tyrant Scorn's good. Yeah, I should have just kept Tyrant Scorn the first time. Because, of course, we just bounce Gadwick and draw six. I was thinking, at first I thought of Tyrant Scorn as just killing the Murderous Rider, not as a draw six. And then I realized that right afterwards, whenever we drew the second one, I was like, wait a minute, this is a draw six. So 
So we can take out Cry Cry, Soot, bring in the three Ashioks. Can take out Legion's End and bring in a Mystical Dispute. And call it a day. Yeah. I could obviously I could go heavier on the anti control stuff. But you know, there may be times I need to like kill a Croxa or, and things like that. So I'm gonna keep in like the Tyrant Scorns. Yeah, Scorn is a really good quality card. Seems like an underrated one. Um, no. What you want? Hey, Gator Frank. Good afternoon. Yes, it is Cherry. It is. Uh, but yeah, we're not playing Kraken. Uh, talked about that at the beginning. Basically, wanted a better version of Demir against Control. I led with the Fable Passage first to get the Black Source out because to have the two Black Sources, we were going to have to have tap lands both times. But this time, but by, by doing it like that, um, Warheart, thanks to the Twitch Prime sub, by, by sequencing it like that, then the scry that we get with Temple of Deceit goes, stays to the bottom. So, you know, like we, a land that we don't want to draw, it stays on the bottom instead of getting instead of scrying the land to the bottom and then sh shuffling it right back. I would like them to take Croxa. They, they shouldn't take Croxa. Because Croxa goes to the graveyard, they get to recast it. So they really shouldn't take Croxa. Which they did not. They don't find another Croxa. Or, you know, anything really. I have so many more cards than we do. Mm. Let's just do this now. Yeah, I'm. I'm not playing Drown the Lock because of sideboard Ashiox. Um, and just even just earlier against control, like Drown in the Lock just was not working that well for me. I ended up taking them out. But then, you know, if I have sideboard Ashiox like this, I do not want to have Drown in the Lock 
because they won't have any cards in their graveyard, so it's not a very good combination. Alright, hit, hit a bunch of Croxas. Croxa. Yuck. Those weren't that good cards. That good of cards to hit. Alright, trade, you know, Planeswalker trades with the devil. <clears throat> they have really did not draw well this game. those either. Yeah, I'll take that. Craving, thieving yeah, Thomas Love, I think this Demir deck works. That first loss that we had was pretty rough. It's a very unfortunate loss. Mortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Exiling that thing, so I don't really want to reshuffle. Three lands and all that stuff. Boo. Should have got rid of the sabotage. Now they had Murderous Rider plus Ashiok on top. So they knew about the Murderous Rider. I think that's why they said nice, because they, they saw the Murderous Rider with the, the Scry. But of course, this this was going to exile it anyway. All right, one and one. Yeah, the Labyrinth Land is, is fine. I like it. I ended up replacing it with Field of Ruin, though, because of all the castles everywhere. I think that I felt that the Field of Ruin, like I had one Labyrinth in here, but um, because of all the castles everywhere, I, I felt like I wanted a Field of Ruin more. But yeah, I liked the the labyrinth card, the labyrinth land too. If we didn't have Gadwick, we could play more of the colorless lands. But Gadwick, and then also needing double black, it's kind of rough. Is the Nylea God even playable? I mean, yeah, it's playable. Yeah. I have practiced it. I have just the trick for this.
So we'll take Torbrand with the Remorse. So like next turn we'll have Remorse and Scorn. No, I, I don't think Thief of Sanity is very good, honestly. It's just not a good metagame for Thief of Sanity. Just the the control decks that you got to beat are all playing Othakaya and Teferi. And Thief of Sanity against Othakaya and Teferi is not where you want to be. Meditate and prepare. Kind of the same problem with Kraken, which is why I'm trying the list without Kraken right now. But I guess Kraken does make your mono red match up a lot better. Where's the sweepers? Not here. Destroy that thing. <clears throat> Shock and Scorch Spitter. Um... So it's Ashiok or Gadwick for three. It's Gadwick for three. Narsa, you're not doing your job. You didn't find a sweeper, and you didn't stop their card draw. You're really not doing your job, Ashiok. All right, back up to four. Get this cry of the Carnarium. And now we have Sensor Sabotage. So it looks pretty good from here. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Just took down a draft seven and one. Four of the matches ended with you, with you escaping Sweet Oblivion two or three times for the win. Okay. Awesome. Milling people out. It's a sweet way to win. It's 
that oh third sub of the day i was he brand new sub too thanks i was he Attack. Up six. Start tapping this field of ruin. Hey, Dark Metaphors. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I really just don't need to destroy their castle. Just not, just not a necessity. I don't want to, like destroy their castle on their end step if they don't play something and tap out doing it and then they play some instant that kills me i don't know what it would be but i'm just not tapping out like there's just don't need to kill the castle all right so end cry set end cry set end cry set Remorse isn't, um, isn't that, like, we don't really need to, like, for our discard spell, it doesn't really need to exile. It's basically like the phoenix is, like, the only thing we need to discard in exile. So, you know, I'm taking out either Remorse or Thought Erasure, but I think the, the lose one life, I think I want the Thought Erasure, because that one life can be very valuable. So here we go. Okay, all right, we'll do prime time. So many one landers. This is crazy. That's how. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That's at least five one landers that I remember off the top of my head in these three matches. At least five times we've had exactly one land. Just don't have the luxury of killing the Dodger. The Dodgy Dodger. Don't want to shuffle. Don't want to draw Ashiok or Omen of the Sea. Yes, I do.
We almost came back. Even after I mold a five. Yeah, skewer the critics. Had two of those. Dealt six damage trying to get that last. Trying to get that last damage in. Well, I guess I'll keep a two lander. I'm not happy about keeping two lands, but. Or more lands. Yay. It's a castle. I thought there was just like a mismatched, missed, matched mountain chilling in there. So I, I did want to crack the Fable Passage yet, because I wanted to see if we need to grab the second red source for Soot or the... Wow, they're saying forget this Shock and Fervent Champion. Cool. Um... So obviously I want another blue source for Gadwick. This basically finds me that blue source. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it. It's not the fastest card. But we're okay. We're at 16 with them top decking. Don't want the shock lands, of course, but I'll keep an island. An island represents just another card that I'm drawing. Don't, I didn't want to minus Ashiok because I didn't want them to draw another shock effect and to be able to kill my Ashiok. Got a bunch of good stuff in exile over there now. Hmm. I should have summoned the sea and hit like a land drop or something. So I want to block first so we can get to uh, cards exiled. Yeah, the Ashiok critters are very good. J 
Just call this deck Demir Two Threes. So we'd have Torbran, Annex, and something else sweet. Two and one. Yeah, just Torbran champion. We could Torbran and a couple haste creatures and do a bunch of damage right away. Yeah, I like Stream Decker. Um, this this new thing that we're using here is Cardboard Live, and I've been really happy with Cardboard Live. Not necessarily the best hand v mono red. Basically keeping the rider as a 2-3 lifelinker that we may need. Yuck. That's a start. Fervent Champion into Fervent Champion light at the stage. On the play. It's a thing of dreams right there. They need four mana for that thing. Well, I am certainly in trouble. Light at the stage hitting double land was just so perfect. They could have just drawn back to back lands also, though. That was just absolutely perfect. I need. Yeah, I need Cry the Carnarium or Ritual of Set right now. Or Legion's End. Stay alive if I block with Ryder. Um, I guess so. I guess I do. <laughs> yeah, I need that two life from Vrassa's Contempt. <laughs> Come on. All right, well, Legion's End, Cry, Soot, and Remorse out. Yeah, I understand they give the blocked creature Embercleave, but it's still a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, right, no, because they pumps it. Never mind, it's a 3-2. Three, three, no, never mind, so I was, I was dead, right. I was thinking that they were like the 1-1s, one, but no, they were 2-1s, they were right? Yeah. So now it's done. So 
maybe we can go a few rotations without dealing with red deck wins. I mean, that'd be a few years, right? Each rotation is one year. In my opinion, standard's better whenever red is good. Obviously, if red is just completely dominant, it's not better, but red being a viable deck, like, the the formats where red isn't playable, in my opinion, are not as good of formats. They get very bogged down and slow and... I'm just going to wait on that Fable Passage. I'm not sure if I need Swamp or Island, honestly. I think it's just really early right now, which is why we're seeing so much red played. I don't think that... I don't think in like a month you're going to be playing against as much red. I don't... The red deck is... Is okay, but it's not anything special. And it's just cheap, easy to build, very straightforward. Early in the format, you just see a lot of it right now. I don't think Annex is too strong. I think Annex is fine. Like the other day, best of one day, Monday, we. We were playing budget decks, and we with budget decks, we beat Mono Red in best of one 11 games in a row with budget decks. In best of one. Like, where Mono Red's supposed to be, where it's supposed to shine in, in best of one. Yeah, Deja Vu over here. They can grab the Phoenix of Ash out now. The problem with, papi with popping Fable Passage before I use that was um, I, I really want the Fable Passage to be another blue source for the Gadwick, but I don't really want to draw a blue source now, but I, I wanted to keep the option open that if, you know, we didn't know what was in their hand, that if I really needed to... Um, if I really needed to cast the Swift End, I had the option to grab the Black Source if I really needed to cast the Swift End. Um, so this is Robber with Ember Cleave.
land. Darn. So making the 2-3 and blocking with the 2-3 is, is honestly better for me, but I'm doing this to force them to spend 5 mana again on Embercleave. That's rough. That's really rough. That was really rough. That tyrant's hitting that tyrant score, and I'd much rather be at four or have a Gadwick in play. Yeah, I would have been at four. Um, I don't really want to get rid of my Ashiok, but maybe I need to do that. Ouch. I want to play Murderous Rider. To have the Lifelinker in play. This is just not good. <laughs> yeah. I thought for sure we were winning that game uh, whenever we played the Ashiok a long time ago. It's a very good robber of the rich. Just, just the robber of the rich draw. Everything about it was very good. Good possibility I need to be keeping that Gadwick. Alright, fine. I'll just keep the other one. Yeah, we could definitely play more Enter the God Eternals. Absolutely. I took him out because I, I thought I was going to be just fine against Mono Red even without him. But yeah, we could, we could definitely spare a sideboard slot for one end to the God Eternals. I could do that. Blue Fire says I'm playing the budget. You're playing the budget uh, black deck? Where am I 
lands. The blue. Okay, playing the, the budget blue deck. Gotcha. In yeah, with magic usually blue is referred to as with the with the letter U and black is the letter B. Yeah, so we're I'm trying I'm trying that that mono blue tempo deck in uh, ranked later on in best of three. We're gonna try playing it in best of three, see how it does. We haven't been playing against the Simic decks, that's why we really have the three Noxious Grass, but one of the Noxious Grass or the Duress, like you could you could play an Unworn Ego instead of one of these, or instead of the fourth dispute. Like or not sorry, not an Unworn Ego, sorry, um an Enter the God Eternals. Could have an Enter the God Eternals instead of one of those. Cause if we really wanted to make this better against red, like you could you know, four the fourth auto erasures and the two narsets aren't aren't really that great. It's like there's six slots of cards that I don't really like that are in the deck right now. But um, like I said, I'm just a lot more worried about control matchup. I was gonna minus the Ashiok and just and put the put that artifact back in their hand. Um I was a little worried about Haste Creature plus Embercleave. Which I guess they, they had the mana for Haste Creature Haste Creature Embercleave anyway. So actually, no, never mind. I was gonna take up. Sorry. Yeah. I did really think about it. I didn't think about too much there, but Yeah, that's that's my plan. That's why I have the one unmoored ego in the sideboard is just an unmoored ego dream trawler against those decks that are just trying to use just dream trawler. I don't want to draw like multiple on more egos. I just want just to want to draw the one and just name Dream Trawler and that's about it. Um, also good against Dance, Dance of the Mance, uh, you know, name Dance. Like so, basically those two decks. You could could play it against Reclamation and name Expansion Explosion. Actually, also I, I would probably do that and name Expansion Explosion. Also because of that card's ability to kill you out of nowhere. I've been pretty happy with these Omen of the Seas. You know, replaced Opt with Omen. I've been pretty happy with them. No, I think the three mana Ashioks are kind of important. I want those. Three mana Ashiok's the kind of card that's not really good as like a one or a two. Like you, you need a good amount of them because like the first one doesn't have a. Like if if you go for that plan, you need more than like you want to draw multiples. What is the best card from Theros? Um, could be Uro. Two that I kind of thought about right away are Uro and Shatter the Sky. Mm -hmm. 
This war boss is going to kill me. Even if I cast Cry of the Carnarium, they, they get to bring back Phoenix, Phoenix of Ash and have Phoenix and Annex. And I'm dead. Um, I don't think it's Trawler. I mean, Trawler is still just a six mana card. I don't think it's the best card in the set. There's. It's probably something I'm not thinking of. Like. I mean, honestly, Omen of the Sea is up there. Storm's Wrath. Yes. Storm's Wrath and Shatter of the Sky are kind of hard to beat. Those are probably the top three or um, Uro, Storm's Wrath, Shatter the Sky. Yeah, Elspeth Conquers Death is up there. That's a very good one. No, I think I think I'd have Trawler either four or five. The greedy line is see if they you know they play Annex, we kill Annex, then untap and then sweeper. That's the greedy line. But then if if they have any one mana spell that they get to play and then have Steamkin be a four four and then add three mana with Steamkin. That can be a problem, but that would have been the greedy line. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably say Dream Trawler number four. I think I would have Sh Shatter the Sky, Storm's Wrath. Chandra, you need more control. Probably Storm's Wrath one. I don't know. I'd have like those two, one, two, and Uro. So we'll have those up there. Ashiok taking five. Blah.
Okay, so I want to be able to pressure Chandra so I didn't chump block the annex. It's gonna be tough to stay alive. But yeah, I like Dream Trawler 4, Annex 5. The sweepers in the Uro 1, 2, 3. Killing this. Killing this Tor brand's not going to be easy. That was not good for me. I could have, yeah, I could have bounced Torbran. Yeah, maybe what I need to do there is bounce Torbran, tap the 1-1. One, one, and then I could Thought Erasure away Torbran, and I have the Cry of the Carnarium for the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that was the line I needed to do. I needed to not kill the 1-1. One, one. I needed to bounce bounce the Torbran. And... Tap the 1-1. One, one. All right, so I think we play one into the God Eternals. I I, th I think we can get rid of the duress. Um, is enter the God Eternals the best thing to put in that slot? Probably. Probably. I could see playing another Legion's End or the two mana exile a creature that costs three or more. But I think we can have one extra, one more card against uh, red in our deck, definitely. So yeah, so yeah, we'll get a, an enter the God Eternals over there in the sideboard. <clears throat> yeah, another God Eternals is very slow, but the thing is, is we we do a pretty good job of stabilizing with the other stuff. 
It may be better. I mean, Legion's End honestly may be better. Just playing another Legion's End. What's the downfall is the card that I'm thinking of? Epic Downfall? Could see playing an Epic Downfall. That can exile, annex, Torbran, and Phoenix. Or do I want a third Legion's End? I'm not sure. Sorry, I know this isn't best best television. Just thinking. Um, I'm not sure, but I, you know, like basically, you can get one of those, uh, one of those slots. Yeah, end of the God Eternals. You'd have to target yourself. You don't really want to. You don't really want to target them. I, th I think I kind of want Legion's End, honestly. I think I just want another Legion's End. Because I think against... Um, also against uh, Cauldron Familiar, I think it's just good to have another Legion's End. It's just a really solid card. Could be a fourth Cry of the Carnarium. Maybe that's it. Cry of the Carnarium was pretty sweet all the time. Maybe we'd actually... Yeah, maybe it's just a fourth Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, I like that. Um, thanks, Noah. Um, so yeah, so we went two and three. Uh, it's it may sound weird, but we went two and three, and I feel really good about the deck. Basically, <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but um, yeah, our first loss was was pretty ridiculous. Um, and then, uh, you know, our, our other, we you know, our second one, like we had like some mold of fives that were really rough with just a bunch of one landers. Um, and then, yeah, we, you know, we just lost some close games to red, but I didn't, I still don't feel like red's that bad of a matchup, but, uh, we played, yeah, we played three against mono red and we went one and two, and then we played against, Rakdos, and I lost that um, when I really didn't, don't think, like, so we went one in four in those matches, or one in three in those matches, one in three in those matches that I feel like we could have won all of them, honestly. So, I don't know, I liked, I liked the Omen of the Sea, liked the discard, um, we didn't really play against control, which that's really a matchup that I'm more worried about. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep working on it. Like, I, I think this deck's good. I mean, it's just really small sample with those uh, matches and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I felt I felt really good about the deck. I felt like the the deck felt really strong. And I, we'll probably have people that will just look at the record. See, like, that's the problem with... with people that just look at records and you know like later on they'll just look at the record and then be like oh i don't want to watch the video or yes or no is this deck good yes or no because it went two and three and that two and three could have easily been a four one or a five oh just a couple other draw steps either on my side or my opponents uh first i don't know yeah i don't know how we do against team or reclamation um i I think that would probably be a tougher matchup, but I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, we have all the discard. We try to unmoor ego expansion explosion with that matchup. Uh, you know, Hydro Crisis is obviously a very good card. I don't, I don't know. Um, I would like it. I'm more comfortable playing against red. I would, I'd be more confident in beating red than a teamer. That's also kind of a lack of experience there. But anyway, there's Demir Control. Um, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, let me know what you think of the deck in the comment section and if you're trying it out yourself. Uh, this is 
it's kind of my favorite deck to be playing right now. Um, yeah, I just I like uh, the cards that we have in the deck. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of it and leave those comments. Uh, hit the like button, all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching Demir Control, and I will see you for the next video.